Hey everyone, welcome to Momoka Gaku Show Physics 2016. This is the part one of physics paper. This is year 2016. And yeah, let's go into the question. So, a car accelerates uniformly from rest to a speed uh, v for time t. Find the distance the car travels during time t. So, at this particular question, is actually discussing about the basic kinematics. So, because it goes from rest to a speed v, we can actually find it using the basic formula for kinematics, right? So, let me do this. And the basic formula for kinematics is v equals u plus at and v squared equals u squared plus 2 ad and u i mean d equals ut plus half at squared now a car accelerates uniformly from rest meaning that the u is zero so v equals at and this v equals 2 ad v squared now we can change a to become v over t right and we can change a here v over t Let's cross cross and d equals half vt so the answer for the number one here is b Now let's go to the second question. Okay, so a monoatomic ideal gas expands from 100 cm cubic to 200 cm cubic at a constant pressure of 10 to the power of 5 pascal. Find the change in the internal energy of the gas. So if it expands, then the initial V is 100 cm cubic. And V final is 200 cm cubic at a constant pressure of 10 to the 5 to the power of 5 pascal so we are asked to find the internal energy and remember for monoatomic gas u is 3 over 2 p delta v and if you wonder about the other type of gases if the gas is diatomic with t is less than 300 then the formula is 3 over 2 p delta v if the temperature of the diatomic gas is between 300 and 800 is equal to 5 over 2 p delta v if the temperature is greater than 800 kelvin this is 7 over 2 p delta v So I just want to say the type of gases that could be uh, happen in the, you know, the volume here, for the type of gases. But because we are discussing about monoatomic, then 3 over 2 p delta v. So the value of p is 10 to the power of 5. And for delta v, it is actually the delta volume for v final and v initial. So 200 minus 200 is 100. And look at the units there. It says that it is centimeter cubic. So we need to change this centimeter cubic to become meter cubic. Because if the units of pressure is Pascal, then we need to use the units for volume is meter cubic, which we which we just use 10 to the power of minus six. Three over two times one tenth one hundred, which is 15 joule so that is the way to answer number two and you just remember the formula of internal energy which is 3 over 2 p delta v right so this is the answer okay off to number three right for number three It says that a parallel capacitor with a plate separation D has a capacitance C. So, 
the capacitor is charged with Q and then disconnected from the battery and find the electric field. First, for parallel plate capacitor, the formula uh, related to that and the capacitor is C over is equal to Q over V. Right? And if you are asked about electric field, the formula is V over D, which C is a capacitance. Q is the charge, V is the potential difference. Which the formula of electric field is potential difference over distance, then we can change V here, become Q over C. So it is Q over C D. Right? So the answer is F. Of number four. In this figure, a box of mass m in an inclined plane. The angle of incline is theta. The coefficient of static friction between the box and the incline is mu. Find the condition where the box will slide. First, if we under if we if we are discussing and trying to answer in this, this question, we need to draw the free diagram. This is the normal force. This is mg, and this is mg cosine theta. This is mg sine theta, and this is f. So, the friction force always has the opposite direction of mg, mg sine theta. I mean, where, wherever the box will go, if it is either up or down, the friction force always has the opposite direction of where the object go. Now, we need to make the calculation. For force that happens on the y direction is zero, so n minus mg cos theta equals zero, and n equals mg cosine theta. For moving in the x direction is also zero. Now, why I say that it is equal to zero? Because the box didn't move. It happens it, the box is still on the state where it is still stationary, so it is, doesn't, doesn't move. So, mj, mg sine theta equals to f, and remember the formula of f, it is mu times normal force. So, mg sine theta equals mu mg cos theta, because the formula of n that we got here, we can substitute to the value of n here. So we can change, we can cross that, and mu equals sine theta over cos sine theta, which is tangent theta. So for the box we slide, this type of friction, friction force should be lowered. That's why mu should be less than tangent theta. Right? So let me give you an initial example. If the friction force, let's say it is 10, and this friction force able to make this box to be stationary. If we want this box to be slide, then our friction force should be lowered. For example, become 8. Same as this. If the mu is tangent theta, able to make this box to happen at stationary uh, state, then we should lower it so that it become mu less than tangent theta. Okay, so let's go to number five. An object attached to a spring fibers with a simple harmonic motion as described in this figure. And t is at time t, and x is the position of the object. Now we should find the maximum speed for this motion. Now, oh, I think I already circled the answer, but this is the way to do it. That is, this graph is just a simple harmonic motion graph. And the formula for the position of a simple harmonic motion is amplitude sine omega t. Because we are asked to find speed, we should differentiate it. It becomes omega a cosine omega t. Now, because it is asked about maximum speed, this function would be maximum when the cosine is 1. So that's why v max is omega a. And remember the formula of omega is 2p uh, f a, right? 
f is the frequency and if you know the formula of frequency n over t now if you wonder n is the total number of wave and t is the time needed to reach the certain number of wave now at this particular graph actually there are one half wave but we didn't know how much time it needed to reach one and a half wave so we can use one wave with its where it is reached with time 2t0 so 2p times 1 over 2t0 a equal to pi pa over t0 so the so that's why the answer is d okay so that is for number one i mean part one from number one to number five i hope you understand my explanation and yep stay tuned for part two